Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. So I'm still doing Christmas crafts. I thought it would be so cute because this was a, a order, but it's not for Christmas. Um, but I thought how cute would it be to do like little hats on Christmas because we're not used to seeing little hats or ha party hats anyway for Christmas. So I thought this would be, would be so cute for a family photo. And these little hats, I think it's so cute. It reminds me of the the little um, like rings, rings, ringmaster, the, the circus ringmasters where for Halloween, they're like the little ones. So this is not a full size hat, it's a mini one. So I'm gonna show you how to do it and we can decorate it really fun for Christmas. So, okay, let's go into projects. And I think I found it in party hats. So, yep, all right. So this is the, you know, it's kind of like this, although I think any of these would work. Um, but this is the one that I use. So it's Celebrate Party Hat. Click on it and it is free and it gives you instructions, but um, it's free. So I'm going to customize it. it. Well, it's free if you have Cricut Access. But again, if you don't have it, um, you can still follow through. You don't pay for it until you go to the to actually make it. So you can still learn how to do, you know, what we're doing. Okay, so it's coming in. All right, let's look to see what this project has. So it basically, it's drawing the word celebrate. So I don't want that. I'm just gonna select on this and delete it. So here's my hat, right? And if you think about how this folds in, it's pretty cool. The, the little triangles fold inside. So this is what it looks like on the back. You can't see it looks really good. But what you do know then is if I turn this over, then I know I can control the height of my hat. So the hat that I'm doing, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> my throat. Okay, I did a couple different sizes to see. So <laughs> look how cute that is, right? Um, <clears throat> so the small one that I just put on my head is four inches, and this one is about four and a half inches. <clears throat> oh, sorry. <laughs> so what you want to do is you want to flip this on its side so that we can measure the height of this hat, right? So try to get it so it matches along this line. And if you start it at one of the edges, then we can count, we can measure how long this is going to be. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's still six inches. So you want to grab it and you wanna make it smaller. I wanna make this about four inches. I think that's a really, really cute size. So just so you know, at four inches, then if you rotate it to the middle like this, cause this is kind of where you fold it, right? So then you can kind of see it is about four inches. So, um, so that way we can figure out how much to design. So it's going to be from here to here. So that's going to give you sort of um, an idea of, you know, like what images we want to put on there. I'm duplicating this just so that I can always keep in mind what my size is. Okay. So we ended up doing this four, so four at four inches. So I'm measuring the one that I actually have. So at four inches wait hold on this is the four inch one i can't remember okay i think this is the right one. okay so i kind of like the words ho 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 on there so let's go and let's um go to inkscape and i want to do an outline so i'm probably gonna do a glitter card stock so maybe Silver, I think silver would be really cute because then we can layer the words and we could do the pom-pom, you know, a cute little color like white or um, sprinkled or something like that. And then the words ho, ho, ho can be layered and it could be green, red, and white. Okay, I think I love that. Okay, so what you wanna do is you wanna click on text, right? And we need to pick a font. I'm gonna pick a simple one that I know is gonna work and it's Happy Popcorn. So I'm going to 
find Happy Popcorn. If you don't have Happy Popcorn, it is from Cre uh, no, it's from Font Bundles. There's a free version, so you can't sell it. Um, can't use it for any designs that you're gonna sell. And then there's also a paid version, which I will link on here. Okay, so Happy Popcorn, I'm gonna type in Ho. <laughs> okay, and then what you wanna do is you wanna click on the arrow. We're gonna make this really big so we can actually see what we're doing want to make sure you lock your file so that as you make it bigger it gets bigger proportionately both in height and width all right so we want to do this three times but we don't need to do ho 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 here we only need one set okay so let's do our offset this is currently selected click in the empty white space click on your paint bucket and pick any color it doesn't matter i'm going to pick this fuchsia and i'm going to do layers of um, I'm going to do 10 and 20. Okay. So 10 just gives you an offset of 10, 20. Since we're doing three layers, we're doing the word, the outline and the outline. Okay. So, um, if you wanted to make it smaller, that would be an internal offset. You would just put a negative sign and it would decrease, but here we're going to make it bigger. So we're going to do, did I say we're going to do 10 and 20? Okay. So I'm going to do 10. So type in 10, you want to click your paint bucket on the H and you see how it made an offset and then we're going to do it again for the O. Okay, then we're going to click on our arrow, click in the white space, click on our paint bucket, pick a different color and we're going to make this 20. So now I'm going to click on the pink and the blue and the O. And you know what, let's do one more offset. So we did 10, 20, let's do 30. So click on the arrow white space paint bucket another color and we're going to go to 30 and we're going to click on this and this okay now click on your arrow you want to grab everything on here and then go to path object to path file save as so we're going to save this so that we can upload it into design space i'm going to save it as ho out offset <laughs> Okay, and let's go into design space. So here's our file. We're gonna go to upload, upload image, browse. And it was in my desktop. Under ho ho ho. Okay, ho offset, open. Click save, click on it and insert image. Oops, let me move my face so you can see it. Um, hold on. Ah, there it is, right? So you wanna click on it and then insert. And I'll show you what we're gonna do with it in here. So we're going to ungroup it and in here the pink, those two, they, they overlap, right? So I'm going to click on it here, hit the shift key, grab the H and I'm going to weld it. So here's my backmost layer and I'm going to weld all of these. And you can determine how many layers you want. Here's this one. I'm gonna, oops, why did I put slice? Ah, hold on. Let's grab these two items and weld. And I don't want this little line right here, so I'm just gonna click on this and go to contour and click on that to get rid of it. And there's my line. Okay, so there's that. And this one, this one, I'm going to keep the line because I think it's pretty. So let's arrange them to the front. So I'm thinking I'm going to do HTV. So you can see on here, 10 might be too small. Do you see my outline? I can barely see the pink, right? So we can get, so the reason of doing so many layers is you can just get rid of it. So here's this layer. 
All right, I like this more. So that's an offset of 20. 10 is too thin for me. So I wanna do this in red. And then I want my blue layer. I'm gonna do it on white glitter cardstock because I know my HTV is gonna look beautiful on that. And then my last layer, I'm gonna do that in green. So there's my ho ho ho, so cute. I'm gonna grab these three items and I'm gonna to go to align and center it just so that for me now, I can see exactly what this is gonna look like. And that looks really, really cute. This, I'm going to make it, I said I was gonna make it silver, right? So silver cardstock, this is gonna be on top. I'm just going to group this together so that they move together. If I resize this, they all get resized. So obviously I'm gonna to need to make this smaller. So I'm gonna do something like this. Duplicate, maybe something like maybe one that goes like that. That would be cute, right? So if you want to do something like this, then let's weld all of our green layers, right? So let's grab green layer one, hit the shift key, the second one, okay, and we weld it. So it's all one piece. And then arrange send to the back. So this is what we have. All the other layers, that would be cute. So this will move as one, and there's your hat. Um, you can also bring in an image. So let's bring in, um, let's say you want Santa, okay? Uh, so let's search for Santa. And Let's say that we like, oh, you know what I wanna do? Okay, I kinda like this one. Um, okay, so let's click on that one, insert. But I don't want all these pieces. These are all layered pieces, right? So I'm actually going to flatten it it's gonna be printed out, but it needs a background, right? So let's go and look at, let's go to images, and I'm gonna look up a doily, okay? Because I want some layers, and this is gonna look really, really, really cute. So these, see, I like doilies because it already gives me an offset, so I, um, that way we don't have to go into Inkscape. Um, I'm just gonna pick one, okay? So I'm gonna pick, I'm gonna pick this one. Actually, I'm gonna pick this one. Let's insert the image, and I'm gonna show you how to layer it. I don't want everything to be print and cut, but this guy needs a background, right? Otherwise, it's gonna cut out uh, however many pieces this is. So this is what I want. I'm going to ungroup this. I kind of like this one, but on this one, because I'm going to put Santa on top. So first of all, let's arrange send to the back. I also don't want all these holes. So I'm going to go to contour and click hide all. So I have just a solid, right? And I probably want him on, I mean, what would be a cute color for him to be on? Maybe just like a light green. So let's pick a light green. Okay, grab the two items and we're going to center it. So go to align, center, and flatten. So now instead of Cricut cutting out the Santa hat, the Santa pieces, because they weren't connected. So when we flattened it, it would have cut out all these pieces and you would have had to maintain it, like keep track of all the pieces and glue it together. But now I gave it an outline. So it's going to print out this whole thing and it's gonna cut just the edges, just this circular piece or, you know, cute little shape. And then that way, I'm now going to have, I don't want, this one. Maybe I want this though. 
This is kind of cute. So I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger. And I'm going to contour and hide all. And maybe I'll make this white. And my back layer, I'm gonna make red. So this will actually be in cardstock, but this is gonna be print and cut. And he's gonna sit like this on top of my hat. So get rid of this. But you see how you can do different things? Like you don't have to make it so complicated. This hat is tiny, so I don't want all those Santa pieces, right? Um, and if, I mean, that's a bad Santa. I kind of just wanted to bring it in because it's kind of hard to see, but um, just imagine. So now I'm gonna group this together so it moves together as one. And see here, it's gonna be on my hat. So that would be cute too, sticking out. You're gonna have a red layer, a white layer, and then on top is your print and cut. So really it's three pieces, three easy pieces for you to handle and manage. And oops, we have this little guy too. So we could give him one more layer if you wanted to. And maybe make this layer I don't know, green. Oops. And so see, you could do something like this, right? That's cute. And then he would be in the middle. All right, so I hope that gives you some ideas on how to create a party hat and how to size it. Um, give me your feedback, comments, questions. Um, and then if you have a special request of your own, please let me know. All right. It's Anne, A-N, at the uselesscrafter.com if you need to send me an email. Okay. Bye, guys.